I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. <laughs> and this is the SCTV News. Uh, excuse me for a moment, please. Earl, what are you doing? Well, thanks for asking, Floyd. I'm having my dinner. It is six o'clock, the dinner hour, and I know that many of our viewers uh, like to eat while watching the news, so I invited myself for dinner, so to speak. Hope you don't mind. I think it makes the hard news of the day a little easier to digest. Dig in, everybody. Today's top story, another earthquake hit the tiny Republic of Togo last night. It was the 23rd quake in the past two months. Governor Ayub Benzwell was reported to have stated that he was pleased at how calm the Togo citizens are now reacting to the quakes. They have learned to live with disaster, he said. However, he expressed concern over the fact that there is now mass hysteria and panic between quakes when things are perfectly normal. <laughs> Earl? Pass the butter, please. <laughs> Floyd, I don't mind telling you, uh, although this uh, roast beef au jeu looks succulent enough, it's, uh, it's a little tough. A little tough. <laughs> Though not as tough as the situation in Angola, where rebel forces continue to batter the capital city of Luanda with machine gun and mortar fire. But as many of you know, my feelings about African politics are much the same as my feelings towards uh, cold peas. Uninteresting. I merely scrape them off the plate and into the garbage, which is exactly what I'll do this particular item. Floyd? Earl, I would uh, very much like to sit down with you one day and have you explain to me exactly how your mind works. Certainly, Floyd. It's not that complicated. That much I know. <laughs> Elsewhere in the news, two Mellonville men had a close brush with death today when their car went out of control and crashed into an underground theater on Berman Avenue during a production of Escalus's Electra. The two men, badly shaken after the crash, said that although their car actually ended up inside the small dark theater, the play continued uninterrupted, with the crash getting only scattered applause from the audience. Theater director Yolan Dimitri added, the crash seemed to accentuate the voice of the gods and truly highlighted the second act. Ironically, the car involved was a Buick Electra. Just desserts, I guess, huh, Earl? I think so, Floyd. You know, speaking of just desserts, I'm about to dig into this scrumptious-looking strawberry tort. Care for a taste, Floyd? No, I don't want to taste. What's the matter, watching your calories? <laughs> Will you get that food off the table? I'm not finished yet, Floyd. Well, look, this is okay. a newscast. It's not the galloping gourmet. Floyd, you should never, ever raise your voice at the dinner table. Didn't you know that? Just give me that food. Give me it. No, you're not taking it. I'm going to take your hate. You, boy, food. You, you, you have no table manners whatsoever. And that's the news. If you think I'm washing those dishes, you're crazy. Idiot. <laughs>